Good day and welcome to another edition of Outside of Genie, where we will be looking at the race meeting at the Vol, the 26th of November. Before we look at the form and the betting, just one or two things I would like to touch on. For those persons who are watching Outside of Genie for the first time, um, what we do at Outside of Genie is we do form analysis, and through our form analysis, we didn't get, we get you outsider that we think have a, a good chance of either winning or place in a race. And we didn't give you those outsiders for you to add to your, uh, um, to your selections. And thereby, should those outsiders arrive, you would be standing in a power queue, collecting the bigger dividend, laughing and thanking outsider genie. Um, if you want to receive this video on a daily basis, just click on subscribe now, ring the bell, and you will then be notified every time that we post a video. You can also find us on social media and our contact details 83 585 Now, we are now nearing the uh, start of the big race meeting, the Summer Cup, and also we have this thing called Black Friday, and in the spirit of Black Friday, Outside of Genie has decided to also get into the boat and supply you with a very special order uh, offer to subscribe to our daily form analysis, which we give people. I will tell you now more what the service entails. But here is our package that we that you can get now. You can subscribe to our Black Friday special. It's valid from today to Friday, 27th of November. What you get in this package, you get our selections for this weekend. December till end of February, plus both our videos, how to read computer form and plan to win. The total value is 1,400 Rand, and you can get this special offer for 350 Rand. That means a 75% discount on normal prices. This weekend, uh, 27 November selections include race by race selections. And then exclusive for um, our subscribers, we will do an analysis of each of the pick six races in detail. And that will only be for subscribers and then selections for trifectas, quartets, PA and pick six, value bits and base bits of the day, and then subjects all the come bits. If you don't want to pay the 350 for 200 rand, you can then sign up for the whole weekend and um, you know for and then you'll get the selections from for the whole of the uh, of the weekend. Friday, uh, there's two meetings, Saturday's two meetings, and Sunday one race meeting. So you're getting for 200 rand, you can get five meetings. You can WhatsApp us at 083 585 5100 to arrange your package. If you don't want to subscribe to our analysis, but you just want to uh, get the two videos that I made, and people have come back to me and say that what they paid for the video is nothing in compared on the money they made making by just applying my suggestions on how to punt to win and also for them to be able to read the computer form. So the real value for money in that as well. Then um, I just want to show you what we uh, give you um, in terms of our daily analysis. You get the race by race selection, outright winner and do possible outsider selections, two daily recommended all to come doubles, value bits to play each way normally six to one, Best bit of the day, no odds on decent value. I mean, I've, I've been giving best bets as high as 7 to 1 at the 9th of November. We gave you a big city goal, 7 to 1 at the time of the selections. Suggested so trifectas and quartet uh, selections as high as 17,000 rand. Like this biggest payout of all the 19th of November, we gave you a quartet and it paid nearly 15,000 rand. And then we give you affordable PA and pick sixes, which you can then take and just add or play as is or add your own your own numbers to. Then um, the way that we present the the, you know, the selections is we send we place this on a WhatsApp group every day. Your race by race selection, P6, PA, Quartet Trifectas, you get your daily value bits and you get um, you get uh, all to come doubles, one uh, um, on radio one and two, well, you get two all to come all to come doubles for the day. So let's go back to the um, racing. So we start off with race one, which is a maiden plate over a thousand meters. Let's just have a look at the betting. And here's the betting um, number six, Cleveland, 19 to 10, Sunny Quinn, 7 to 10, Stormy 6, 5 to 1, Justice Reached, 11 to 2, Mars Rover, 8 to 1, 
and 12 to 1 and longer the rest. Scratching number 10, wisdom. Now let's have a look here. Now my selection here is number 3. And uh, let's bring this one to work. Come on. Now sometimes these things are so... Uh, we are now at race two already. Here we are at race number, race number one, number three. Justice Reach um, has had three runs. And has been um, this horse has been improving all the while. Last time out ran a very nice race behind um, Aninsky um, over the 4,000 meters. And with the jogger getting minus one and a half, I'm looking for this horse to improve and be involved when the photos are taken. Number two, Sunny Quinn, also not with Alta Pre, can also be involved, has also had um, some nice runs, was actually in front of number number uh, three, uh, Justice Reach. So number two, I think Sunny Queen also is here as runner in this race. For outsider selection, I'm, I've gone for number one, uh, Muzi Yeni for Paul Mashit. And um, also in that same race, he was actually second behind Aneski, but last time out didn't run uh, um, uh, such a good race, four and a half lengths behind Panama Kit, which was the first time in making its debut at that day, I remember. Yeah, so there is some form um, behind um, Aneska, and here we have uh, number five, Lorna Moore, who was five lengths behind Panama Kit, um, but getting the minus two and a half today, maybe a horse you want to include in the back end of your quartets. Here's the favorite, number six, Cleveland. Uh, there's nothing wrong with his horse form. He ran second to Panama Kit, finishing 23.9, third fastest. Um, and it says he carried in late. So also uh, a, a horse to keep your eye on. So all in all, um, I think another uh, clear-cut race for the favorite. A few horses with chances. And we've got some first-timers from the Clinton Binder stable. And uh, yeah, I'm just wondering what happened to Jam Fancy in the betting. I just want to check something. Jam Fancy. Oh, it's 12 to 1, Jam Fancy. Because I know the, uh, the, for the Fortunes had some other horse as a favorite. I see number 10 is a scratching. So let's move on to race number two. Here we have the maiden plate over Phillies Amir's maiden plate over a thousand meters. Here the betting is as follows. On the go, oh, here's the horse of the fortune that I was thinking about. This in the second race, 14 to 10, 5 to 1 Showdown Kit, 11 to 2 Manhattan Magic, 15 to 2 Zumida, Nina Amelia, 10 to 1, 10 to 1 Taladiga, uh, 33 to 1 number 9, and longer the rest. So here my selection is, my first selection is number five, Zumidia. I really believe that this horse has got a huge chance. Um, it, it, um, last time out, I think the jockey just overdid it. He went too fast. And I think if Warren Kennedy can restrain this horse a little bit, I think this horse is a huge runner today. Definitely a horse that, that you need to take seriously. Yeah, um, my outsider selection is number four, Nina Amelia. I think Nina Amelia has also run some decent races. Um, was third behind Sudden Charm. And Sudden Charm, no donkey herself, although eight links, six links behind. But I remember Sudden Charm winning by about six links or something like that. So number four, and the poor match at Stable is in form. Muzi Yezi also in form. So I think Nana Amelia, a serious runner. My other outsider selection is number one, um, Talagada. Uh, this horse came from a long rest um, last time out. Didn't run too bad. 3.25 rings behind Big City Girl. Now, um, I think for, for a horse for coming from a layout from, a layout from January 2019 to November 2020, really that was definitely not a bad run. And the horse can just improve from there. Then we have this horse called Sodian Kit. Now, Sodian Kit. He's a horse that has won a race, but was disqualified because the jockey lost, um, or the jockey didn't weigh in in the correct uh, race. And last time out, the um, commentator 
Mr. Cohen was calling this whole home like, like he was going to win. And then uh, Big City Girl, which was my best bet at that day, and 7 to 1 <laughs> came up and nabbed the horse late. So it just shows you sometimes the commentator that can get overzealous. And then, yeah, because he was calling Show Young Kid home like there was no opposition. And I was screaming Big City Girl for my best bet of the day to get up, which he duly did. So, um, yeah, there is collateral form behind Big City Girl. And yes, number nine, Dunia. Um, really, um, this horse is 30 feet to one. But I would suggest maybe if you can afford it, play this horse in the back end of your quartets. I think this horse might improve from this long run because it was, it was slow, lost one link. So it can only improve from that run. Then we move on to race number three, which is an, um, another, it's a graduation plate over 1,200 meters, class C, average minute rate at 78. Let's have a look in the field here. Not a very big field. And here we have number one, Nafer, 19 to 10, Tropic Sun, 2 to 1, 22 to 10, Frosted Steel, 19 to uh, 10 to 1, number two, Video Ocho, and um, 10 to 1, Evolves, Evolves, Prince, and 100 to 1, the other two. So let's have a look at the form here. Now, uh, my selection here is number six. You can see here, best weighted column five and six, two, one, and three. Now, I'm, I have a look at number six, and I do like what I see. Tropic Sun is a four year old filly, Lyle Hewitson on board. Um, this horse has been off for a long time. But I don't have a problem over the shorter distance. A horse can come from, um, you know, a, a long race. And Sean Terry, he is known that he, he will bring a horse ready to race. Now, this horse beat Secret Dream by five lengths. And then Secret Dream went on from that and also won quite a, a, a first race at a good odds. And then, um, yeah, I just feel that this horse has had some decent runs. And Sarah no slouch herself. And I think Tropic Sun might need a run, but I'm sure, I'm, I'm hoping that Sean Terry will bring this horse fit to the course. Then outside of selections, and not really big outside selections, number two, which I also, this horse has been running over longer distances, but was campaigning over the 1200 meters and has had some, uh, has had some places. So maybe um, also a horse that's running fresh and might just surprise and be in the placings as is number three, Ivala Sprint, who's, who's had now a stable change from the Jeff Root up to Paul Matchett. And didn't do too bad. And I mean, um, also coming from a long race, but even, you know, Marshall is not a donkey. Captain Corey is also a good horse. So obviously number three might, might be involved in with a small chance. Frosted Steel has also been running well against some decent opposition but also coming off a long, long rest. So you can see all of them coming off long rests. Um, and then here's number one, which is Navar, Navir. And he also, um, he has had a few runs and um, yeah, I ran four legs beyond Slalom Queen the last time out um, in a higher, much higher division. Now a little bit, uh, uh, average mean rating is, in this race is like a 78. So obviously a bit down in class, but already a six year old, only had 16 runs. So that has also had some breaks, uh, often had breaks. And uh, also came back in June after a long rest, but is battling to regain form. So all in all, I think this is gonna be a, a battle between, uh, you know, horses coming off a long rest and number one, Navarre. Then we move to race number four, which is a maiden handicap. Um, and let's have a look at the betting. Here the betting is number two, keeping the peace, two to one. Tuscan Light, four to one. Joanna is seven to one. Watching closely, six to one. Remain base, 12 to one. Winning Queen, 12 to one. Wondrous, 12 to one. Held the Dodge, 16 to one. Grace Lulu, 14 to one. Olympic Jesty, 40 to one. And longer the rest. Now on Tuesday, we had a similar situation, and in there I had a horse called Wild Heritage, which I selected, but that horse was carrying 54, where the other horses was carrying 60. And the horse went on to win by about, about I think, three links. And um, today I'm also going for an outsider in this race. Now, Wild Heritage 
at that time was 7 to 1. So my selection in this race is number 12. Grace Lulu. Now this horse uh, could have grown by uh, um, Valmir, um, but this horse has been improving slowly and over the longer distances last time ran an improved race and I'm thinking that the 200,000 meters will suit this horse. So definitely a uh, number 12 Grace Lou, a horse that you need to include. And then also my outsider selection is number 10, Joanna Ace, which is a stable mate. Maybe a good thing to take the, um, to take the, um, the exacta and also Muzi any riding on this one. This horse also uh, ran behind Peace Diamond, but and, and also uh, improved. But and I just want to check something here. When they ran behind Peace Diamond, they ran at level weights. If you have a look there, eight to fifty-eight and fifty-eight. Um, but now um, Joanna is just carrying fifty-five and a half, and Grace Lulu. Is carrying 53 minus one and a half, so there's a significant turnaround in weight, and that is why my selection is number 12, because number 12 will only be carrying 51 and a half against um, some horses of heavier weights. And then my other outsider selection is number 12, Wanderers, for the same reason, only carrying 54. Pierce Trader on board for the first time. And I think that he will make a big difference. The horse also improved last time out over 2,000 meters of the easing at the start. And I'm looking for number 11 to run an improved race. Your favorites in this race is numbers one and two. And here we have number one, um, Tuscan Light, has been knocking on the door, but now today carrying 60. Other horses getting some um, weight uh, advantage as well as number two, keeping the peace. And uh, yeah, this horse. Um, as right from free runs um, beyond aesthetic queen, anything goes. So, you know, has run against some decent opposition, but has to give way to way to some of the other horses. And I think the horse will find it difficult to win in this race today. Then here we move on to race number five, which is a merit rate at 96 handicap over 1800 meters class B, average merit rate in 90. Let's have a look at the betting. Here the betting is as follows. Number nine, the brass, 28 to 10, sell high, three to one, and nine to two, hell of a ride, 15 to four, master supreme, five to one, and 20 to one, and better the rest. Now, um, here we have, um, my selection is number four, master supreme. Master supreme um, is now running in a, in a 90, average been rated 90, but as again, in the past, uh, uh, has run against some useful opposition. Did win two races in a row, uh, in a row earlier in in the year, and I'm looking for Master Supreme to run here. Uh, with Gavin Arena on board, running a huge race um, in a uh, in a race a little bit lower than he's run before. Then for outside the selection, I'm going for number one, Cash Time. Now. Um, if you have a look at this horse's form, it doesn't look too good, but this horse has also run against some decent races, and I know that that the uh, for fortunes do believe that this horse has got some ability, uh, but although already over a thousand days since the last win, but has been campaigning against strong opposition in the past, maybe last time out of 1,400 meters too short, so I think that run best be ignored. But, you know, other horses with charges from Chatham, maybe back end of quartets. Uh, Al on the tree also put it in the back end of your quartets. Nimcha did win last time out, but now running in a little, you know, I think in a, against a little bit better horses. Um, Salai also win last time out, but also in a lesser division. But Pierce Trader on board can surprise. So all in all, I think a, a difficult uh, a race. The other of a right, I did like last time out. It came in, ran a third, uh, 25 to 1 can improve from, from there. And yes, the favorite in the bras. Yeah, the horse, um, I mean, hasn't had a lot of uh, runs, but um, in my eyes, not too strong form. Um, although they're second behind Christopher Robin, Christopher Robin did win a future, but that was in March. I think the horse will need an, another run. And yeah, one will have to see if I'm gonna land up with egg on my face. Although in its favor, it's gaining 53 and a half, which is a nice low weight. Then we move on to race number six, which is one of these middle stakes races again. And 
Uh, here we're going to have a look at uh, betting, uh, race number six. Betting as follows. Number three, Dynastic Light, 15 to 10. Flashburn, 7 to 10. Set the standard, 4 to 1. Pretty Border, 11 to 2. Old Joe Horses, 16 to 1. Afra, 16 to 1. Circle of Latitude, 18 to 1. And longer the rest. So here we have my selection is as follows. Race 6 is number 9. Um, Pretty border. Uh, now, here we're running, uh, the, the average mean rating in this race is a 78. Now, if you look at it, you'll see that um, Pretty border has been running against some much stronger opposition. Last time out, ran an improved race behind Castellano, although seven innings behind, was running on a little bit and, and has been running on in some of our other races. And I think today, David Neven is in, um, you know, uh, stable. Can be looking forward to lead this horse in number nine, Pretty Border. They also had a nice winner the other day. Outside of selections, number two um, is uh, Set the Standard. Um, set the Standard um, as one is made in, um, in October last year and, um, you know, has only had one run since the rest. And that was, for me, was a very nice run behind Whirly Whirly. Ran 24.2 second passes to 400, and I think over the longer distances today will improve and can be involved in the in the um, in the finish. Then um, other horses of chances. Um, number one, Flash Burn. Um, it looks like last time out things didn't go according to plan. Can be involved in the finish. And then also the Nistic Light, the favourite. Um, has one a run well last time uh, about to lose a fortune, but it's the first run since Cape Town. And, and but I've seen all the horses coming from um, from this uh, owner um, to Alec Laird has been performing and running well. Um, so the Nasty Glide come well on board. One will have to wait and see uh, what the situation is there. So then let's move on to race number seven. Race number seven is a um, Computer form for and mates, 86 handicap, class C, average mean rate in 78. Let's have a look at the betting here. Here we have number three, way of the world, 22 to 10, Strata Stada, Strata Statale, 72, leading for far, 72, 11 to 2, little rain. Give me hope, Joanna, 6 to 1, Fort Ann, 8 to 1, 16 to 1, and longer the rest. <clears throat> I apologize for this. Um, here, my first selection is number four, leading fast, Sean Terry Leo, Lyle Hewitson. I really like this horse. I've always liked this horse because of her breeding, very well bred. And um, I think today uh, will be a day. Um, has been running against some stronger horses in the past. If you look here, 85, 84, 83, 82. Today, running in a 78. I think um, the horse will definitely. Um, Improved from his last time, and I think with Lyle Hewitson on board today, a huge runner. And here's one of my outside selection number five, Fort Ann, a four year old with Pierce Trader, Adam, Adamson Stable, has been running some nice races after the maiden. Um, and I think last time out, maybe just a touch too far, the shorter distances I think will suit. Also, let's have a look here at number one. Give me hope, Joanna. Um, this was um, a little one, a last race over 1600 meters. And um, yeah, can definitely be involved in the finish. Um, also a little bit down in class, has run against some useful opposition in the past. Here you see a 90 and 92 and a 95, 98. <clears throat> can also be, um, as I said, involved in the finish. Here's number two, Stratostale, always run a huge race. But it was on place last week, uh, last Saturday at Turfontaine. Um, Way of the World has been running well, did run three wins in a row. Last time out second, can definitely go in the Gavin Arena on board again, not without a prayer. So let's move on to race number eight. Race number eight is a um, merit rated 80 handicap over 1,000 meters and a very, very open race. Let's have a look at the betting. As the betting suggests, 11 to 2 the field, 
I'm a four, four, four hundred low, eleven to two, star flash five to one, Kings Rogue eight to one, seven to one, Mind Reader, Precious Stone seven to one, Mr. Hugo eight, nine to one, twelve to one, Hurricane Ready, Maringa twelve to one, Galactic Warrior fourteen to one, Capitina fourteen to one, Alex the Great fourteen to one, sixteen to one, and longer the rest. Now we can see here we're having a class D seventy three merit rating. Here in this race, my first selection is number two, Capitina. Um, uh, since this horse won his maiden, I always felt that this horse is going to be a good horse, which she followed up the maiden with another or with, with another win, and then um, yeah, just couldn't perform. But has been running in far stronger company than she's running today. Here, here she ran in a ninety behind Golden and uh, Gary Princess. Sing for Rama, Winter Watch, and Boyle 85, 87, even a 91, 86. And um, didn't run too bad on uh, Saturday, uh, finishing three and a half rings behind the winner. And I think today in this class, Capitina can be definitely a contender as mad as table change um, uh, from um, Jeb Hutop to Lucky Udalakis. And I'm sure he would like to win with this horse. So for me, number two, Capitina, definitely a horse that you cannot discard. Well, outside of selections, I'm looking at number one, Galactic Warrior. He loves this course and distance since three wins, two seconds, two third, two fourths, uh, giving the minus one and a half, has also run against a usual opposition, beating all of me in a ability rate of 92. Now down here in, in a G division, 73. Well, number one, Galactic Warrior, definitely with not out of three. In my other outsider selection is number four, Barred Low, um, also 11 to two. Violet Low also, um, I think, in with a chance. Um, I did run behind the only man last time out and can be involved in the finish. Yes, Arikan Edley, who won his maiden uh, very easily, and looking at that, has got the ability to, to um, follow up. So, all in all, a very difficult last race. And um, I thank you, and I hope I could point you in the right direction to get a few winners. And as I always say, break a leg.